Hey, howdy, hey, people of the internet. This is Wolfman 407 Dash. I am still in a very cold flat um, at the time of recording this, which is Tuesday, the 2nd of May, uh, 2023. Um, I'm hoping that it gets sorted by the time this gets uploaded, but who knows. So, um, a lot of you really liked my last unboxing and haul video. So, I thought today we'll do another one. So today, so for this part of the video, I'll be look, showing you the stuff that I've been buying recently, that I bought recently, more like. Um, my Zavi box that I've ordered has not arrived yet. I have been told it will be arriving this Friday, be arriving on Friday the 5th of May. Um, but by the time you see this, that day will have been and gone. So hopefully if when that arrives, I'll be able to add that to, the, to this video. But if not, then that will be saved for a later video. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at what I've bought. So, first up, oh, I've got a big Lego set to show you. Uh, this, this is an, the Atari video computer system, um, which is a Lego set. Um, those of you that know me well know that I love my Lego. Those of you that have seen my flat tour video will know that as well. Um, and my experience of Atari, I've not had that much history with it. I've played games by emulation and I do know that it was like one of the first video game consoles ever, ever released. Um, so it's nice to have a Lego version of that, which is good. Um, so next I have a bag of things that a friend of mine gave me so it's just a bag of clothes not sure if i'm gonna be keeping any of any of them but anyway so first that we've got some shorts yeah these ones i'm not gonna these ones i'm not gonna keep because uh i don't like butterflies never been a fan of them to be honest okay uh and right so this so next is a this is a shirt I'm doing. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh yeah, it's a shirt. Um, yeah, there you go. I think it's a little Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, yeah, Hawaiian shirt. Uh, I think I might keep this one. Um, if it's my size. If not, I'll give it, I'll give it to someone else or my friends or something. Oh, right, what else has he given me? Right. Oh, another shirt. Oh yeah, another Hawaiian shirt, another keeper if it fits, otherwise I'm going to give it to someone else. Uh, right, uh, my next one, ah uh, yeah, this one you did warn me is a bit racy, um, but you can, you guys can tell me if it looks racy or not. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know if I'll keep this one. Uh, yeah, probably not because it's a bit racy and a bit sexist. Mm. Uh, and finally, oh, and finally in that bag, another pair of shorts. A much more practical one, and it does feel quite heavy for some reason. I wonder why that is. Mm. There we go. Uh, oh, not finally, sorry. We've got another thing. What have we got in here? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Another shirt. Another Hawaiian shirt. Right, there we go. That's all the uh, stuff from that bag. And, and I've also bought some IKEA furniture, which I'm not going to show in this video because, well, they're in boxes and, yeah. Enough said about that. So I'm now going to stop the video here and I'm going to start building these things and hopefully by the time those are done I'll be able to show those off. So yeah, see, see you later. <laughs>
Hello, we're on to day two of this week of uh, no <laughs> no um heating or um no heating or hot water. Uh the uh, guy did call to say that um they would make an appointment for Friday, the fifth of May, um, for the morning. So hopefully that will get sorted. But in the meantime, I will show you what I've been working on. So first up, there is my bedside table. The bedside table came from IKEA and um that's how it looks. I know it's a little bit small but it does what I need it to do. So yeah, that's good. Right, if we move on into the living room now, um, you'll see that I have begun work on my Lego Atari, and also finished my work on the um, on the coffee table. Um, bit of history for you: uh, the game Adventure was a plot device in Ready Player One, both the film and the book, and. Um, and it's a great and it's a great game. Um, I've played a sort of emulated version of it, but um, yeah, it's all good there. Um, the instruction manual for the Lego set was quite interesting because uh, it, like with some of the more recent sets, it uh, has a lot of different um, information about the console and the um, designers that made the Lego thing. Um, it actually, the set actually celebrates um, milestone anniversary for Atari. Um, which I will just tell you in a moment. Uh, oh yeah, 50, 50 years. So it's been around for quite a long time. Though it did start this sort of video game craze, so yeah. Um, as for the clothes, uh, most of them I'm going to donate to either people or charity shop. Um, I'm going to keep one of the Hawaiian shirts because the one I was because the two I was planning on keeping one of them didn't quite fit me but the other did so yeah anyway that's all I've got to say for today's video um all that work I did um I did straight after the video I did yesterday so I'll do another one tomorrow Star Wars day uh just probably show more progress of my Atari set and um yeah that'll be it okay see you tomorrow <laughs> That boss is struggling with this one. <laughs> Hello, folks. Um, day three. Uh, happy Star Wars Day. <laughs> um, so, Savvy Box isn't quite here yet. Um, it's actually going to come tomorrow, which is fine. And the guy doing my heating and uh, hot water, fixing it, hopefully. It's coming tomorrow as well. Um, not much else to say, really. But I will show you what I've been working on with the Atari. So uh, here's another game that came with it. Well, technically not a game. It's more of a Lego replica of the game. But anyway, this is Asteroids. A lot of people you will know what Asteroids is. Um, very simple game. You play a little ship and you've got to um, basically shoot Asteroids. As I can demonstrate here. And there you go. Uh, it's coming on quite nicely. The uh, Atari 2600. Um, which is what the console is that I'm building from Lego. Um, yep, coming along nicely. Uh, not much else to say really except um, have, a good, have a good Star Wars diet. Well... Obviously, by the time you see this, it's Star Wars Day will have been and gone, but yeah. Uh, 
So hopefully tomorrow I'll have a box to unbox and hopefully have heating and hot water as well. Um, I also voted today because uh, apparently they cho UK chose May the 4th to uh, be voting day. Who knows why? Just the way it is, I guess. Anyway, the force is made a force be with you all. Um, try not if you get order sixty six in whatever you, orders you do, great. Uh, and um, try stay away from sand. It's coarse, rough, irritating, and gets everywhere apparently. Um, and remember, the force is a path. Well, more the dark side than the light side. Anyway. The Force is a pathway to many abilities, some considered to be unnatural. Okay, enough with the quotes. I'm going to call it a day with this video. And uh, next one, hopefully, I'll have a box to unbox. So we'll, I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye. I'm back from my working and so forth. Um, as I got back, I discovered that it arrived, the Zappy box. So, for this hopefully final part of the video, let's take a look and see what's inside. Um, now, before I got this, I did actually see a video of um, a guy unboxing a Zappy box like this, and he was saying, which I do agree with, that um, boxes just aren't the same as they used to be. Like, they used to be boxes that had like oh, had themes and and t-shirts and all sorts and these days the boxes you get particularly from Zabby are just whatever stock they can get rid of and um, t-shirts granted that you do pay just one price for stock that um, would probably be quite expensive if you bought separately and they do have like all different companies involved with their stock so you got e so there used to be a company called egan Ross who have gone out of business that did um the batman automobilia automobiles and uh bunch of books figures and so forth um so they're selling stock from them um obviously the funko pops uh everybody loves funko pops and yeah uh and you know that's fine you know having boxes of different items that's all right but yeah I agree with the guy I saw on YouTube. I do miss the days when there were themes and items tied to the themes and t-shirts, but we're in a different time now. So, yeah. Anyway, on to, the on to open this up. I still enjoy bu buying these boxes, though, despite what I say there. Okay? So, yeah. Okay. Get rid of all these air bubbles or cold bags, whatever you want to call them. And, oh. We have two, we have not one, but two figures. <gasps> right, so first up we have, right, this looks like, this is Marvel, and this looks like, oh yes, Spider-Gwen. Yep, there she is. Uh, and um, I should say that I am looking forward to seeing Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Um, I did hear the running time is longer than any animated film to date. But it kind of looks like the sort of average on time of a superhero film anyway. So, who knows. Um, I think it's good. Because like, it's got a lot to live up to after the very highly successful first one. So, yeah. Right, second figure. Also from Marvel. And, and good lord, it's part of the same series. Thanos. The, ma the man who uh, wiped out half the universe in Avengers Endgame. Uh that was quite that was quite the experience that one. Experience we probably won't get again, but you know, you know, might do. Okay. Uh next we have Oh, from Marvel to Harry Potter, we've got a oh, says a 3D eraser, and that looks to me like Hermione. There she is. Um I don't think I've I do like erasers, but um, it's been ages since any of us actually used them because pencils I know are still around and people still use them, but um, most day most of the time people go to pens. So yeah, right. Uh, 
Any more items? Oh, yep. Go on, go on. A couple more, I think. Yep. Yep, just a couple more. So, oh, Rick and Morty. Uh, a Pickle Rick collectible coin. Pickle Rick! <laughs> Yeah, looking forward to seeing how the show goes moving forward without the um, original voice actor. We all know what happened there. Mm. And what have we got here? Oh, it's something that was formerly a Loot Crate exclusive. It's a Dead Rising 4 something or other. There's the box. It's a Dead Rising 4 what? What are you? Uh... Oh, it's a bag. Oh, there's a bag of things. Oh, heavy bag. What's inside it? Oh my. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a multi-tool thing, by the looks of it. Oh yeah, check it out. Multi-tools. Nice. Um, I do have one of these or somewhere, but I don't really use it much. Because I've not had the need to at the moment, so yeah. But this is pretty cool to have. Um, I've played all the Dead Rising games, um, enjoyed, I didn't really play them all the way through, uh, the most I did play all the way through was Dead Rising 3, which was an Xbox One exclusive back in the day, um, so that's the only one I kind of played all the way through, um, I like the games, but I do have that issue of there being just a time limit and not enough time to, you know, go around the world and do everything and I was quite glad that with the fourth game they decided to scrap the time limit to allow people to just explore at their own pace uh, so yeah okay so that is everything in this box and uh, it is random as, as before but um, all items that I am going to keep which is good well I don't know about the arrays I might actually get that to someone but yeah Okay, I think I'm going to call it a day with these videos, with all these different parts of the video for this week. Um, hopefully my heating and hot water gets fixed tomorrow, and um, as and when I finish my Lego Atari, um, I will happily show it in probably the next vlog, or maybe a future, or maybe just on the community tab. But yeah, anyway. Thank you so much for watching as always, uh, please like, comment and subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.